Hello my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are having a little bit of a glow up tutorial going on. We are going to do a at home brow lamination and DIY home eyelash extensions. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do them. I also have one product to test and review for you babes. Since we have gone mask free, the inevitable has happened and that is that I need some color on these lips. So I have a really thin upper lip and I feel like you need some product to just look a little bit bigger, look a little bit juicier, but I have the biggest struggles with lipsticks. I'm not somebody who goes to the bathroom a lot or like a public bathroom a lot. So especially when I'm out and I'm wearing lipstick, I would not see myself for a few hours and then when I eventually do the lipstick kind of has like this line around my lips that I just absolutely hate and then I'm wondering like how long have I been looking like this or somebody would take a picture of me and I'll see that little line there and I'm like why did nobody tell me that this was the situation I really am not the biggest fan of those long wear matte lipsticks because they also make me feel like they just dry out my lips and I'm just not the biggest fan I constantly forget to reapply so I am on the hunt for a lip stain something that i can apply in the morning and go about the rest of my day and still just have that little pop of color it doesn't need to be super bright it can be super light just something better than like my normal skin tone at this point a lot of you babes recommended that i try the benefit lip and cheek stain and also the clarence lip tint um unfortunately i was only in the clicks today and i bought the wet and wild mega loss stained gloss lip stain in the color magic mirror so i'm gonna try this out and have this on while I do the brow lamination and the eyelashes just so we can see what it does, you know? So let's try it. It is this kind of dark-ish, pink-ish color. So let's see. She is a little bit bold for me to be honest and quite a bright color. So I'm gonna let her dry down and then remove it to see what type of tint it leaves. Um, but I wouldn't want to wear this color as is, so. It feels good on the lips. It is very hydrating. It's not dry at all. While she's drying down, let's start with the brow lamination. So this is the kit that I use. I got it from the Standard Beauty website and you can use my code Charmaine.15 for 15% off of your order. I think this is my fifth time using out of this one kit. So it is extremely cost effective to be doing it at home um, versus going to a salon and paying 550 rand each time to get your brow lamination done and I'm in full control of when I do it, when is a convenient time for me and it's actually super easy. Let's get started. Within each kit is a false lashes glue, a perming solution, fixation solution, a nutrition solution and also a cleanser and within the kit there is also a clean tool that you are going to help shape your brows with. Step one is to remove your makeup or any excess dirt with the cleanser. Dab a few drops on a cotton pad. Step two, within the clean tool kit, there is this little Y comb that you are going to use to shape your brows with. And you're going to use the false lash glue solution with it. So section for section, you're going to apply a little bit of glue and then brush it upwards or whatever shape you want it to lie in with the wire comb using the little bristle end. Okay, now that my brows are combed up and into the position that I want it, I'm going to use solution number one, the perm, and this little spoolie to start working the product onto the brows. Once you've coated your brows, you can use some cling film and just take a little bit and you are just going to cover the brows. This is going to help them just maintain the shape a lot better. Okay, and now that we look like this, we are going to give it 10 minutes for the perm to do its magic. You can go up to 12 minutes if you have very coarse or hard hair, but I usually find that 10 minutes is enough for me. While we wait for the perm to do its thing, let's start with our eyelash extensions. The company that I got this kit from is called Lash Life by Zoe Beauty. And I am just going to take the lash pad, take off the little film on it so that it's nice and sticky on this side. And then I'm going to map out one of my eyes. I'm going to start with the right side first. And, and I think for this set, I will use four strips of lashes. I have the lash style feather light with me and I will do 40 millimeters on my outside corners and then working inwards on the two inside I will use the 12 millimeters. 
Using these handy tweezers, I have set the lashes in the shape that I want them and size that I want them. We are just going to clean the lashes again and just make sure that they don't have any oils or products on top of them. Personally, I just would like to give them a little brush through after I've cleaned them just so they lay nice and straight and not on top of one another. And now we are going to take the lash glue and just on the very start of the lashes, coat the lashes about no more than halfway through with a little bit of glue. And using the tweezers, we are going to pick up our first lash strip and add a little bit of glue on the band. Now we are just going to stick it under the lash line exactly where we want it. And release. Then we just pick up the next set and do the exact same thing. Glue on the band and then under the lash. Now taking the 12 millimeters same thing applies and there our first eye is done I just like to take my fingers and just squeeze them together and tie to make sure that they have bonded with my natural lash you can also use the tweezer to do that I just haven't quite like figured out that movement okay yeah the timer goes off and it is time to remove the clean wrap once you remove it, you can just take a dry cotton round and just take off the product off of the brows. Before we add the next solution, you can just give your brows a little brush through again with the Y comb. The fixation solution is this little blue one. And again, you're just going to apply it all over the brow. Then we are going to do the same thing. We are going to cover them with cling film again and then wait another 10 minutes. Okay, we are covered, we are looking crazy and we are setting the timer for 10 minutes. My lips haven't really dried down a lot but I have decided that I've given this, the tint enough time to develop. So I'm gonna take it off. I think that's like a proper tint. That's a nice color, right? It's not as bright anymore, so I like that. I quite like it. Okay, let's do the other eye. Both eyes are done. The timer is up again. So after the fixation solution has been on for 10 minutes, we take that off as well. And at this point, you should be seeing like a really nice shape in your brows already you can just remove it with a cotton swab once again. So watch what it looks like when you start combing through them now. They immediately go up and into a nice shape and whatever position you laid them out into. The next part is totally optional and separate and you can always just skip this part and go to the next one and that is if you want to tint your eyebrows. Now I for one love a darker brow so I'm going to tint mine. I usually buy my tint from this game or clicks and it is not included in the kit. I just want to give you an FYI if you are planning on tinting your eyebrows just comb them down again and into like a small shape because if they are combed up they like cover a larger surface area where the skin underneath it. So applying the tint directly to that will tint the skin underneath. I'm just going to apply my eyebrow tint to my brows. Okay, my eyebrow tint is applied. The lip stain is doing pretty well. I'm going to make myself like a quick sandwich while this is on so that we can see if this is actually eat proof, you know? Okay, my sandwich is made. Time to remove the tint. We are so close to finishing. The last solution that we are going to use is the nutrition solution. And we are just going to saturate the brows with the solution and keep it on for five to 10 minutes.
Okay, let's give it five minutes. And I'm gonna eat my sandwich. By the way, how good does my eyelashes look? That was literally so easy. No transfer of the stain on my sandwich. Five minutes are over. My sandwich was delicious. The tint is still on. Well, we are winning in life, my girls. Yes. Okay, last step, babes. Last step is to take the cleanser again and just remove the nutrition oil. Just make sure that you take off all the glue surrounding your brows as well. And there we have stunning brows for the next four to six to eight weeks. Whenever I notice that the brow lamination goes out a little bit, I go back to using the soap brow method for a little while and just make sure that the lamination is completely worked out for at least two or three weeks before I will laminate again. To just give the brows a bit of a rest and make sure that I don't damage my brows. So now you can shape them and just clean around them and just pluck out any unnecessary hairs that's there. The previous time that I did the lamination, I felt that my brows were a little long. So I decided to use like one of those small scissors and cut them. Worst mistake that I have ever made, I ruined my brows at that point. Luckily, they have grown a little bit, but this side I can definitely still tell it's a little bit shorter than this side. And I'm not going to touch them again. So if you use the scissors, just be really, really careful because you cannot take that back, man. Let's talk aftercare. You might notice within like one or two days that the hair is going to start becoming very hard. And that is the perm of it. So to just keep them nice and moisturized and nourished, I use the hot oil therapy from Standard Beauty. And I just apply it at night on my brows. But you can also use Vaseline if you don't have hot oil therapy. And I think castor oil should work as well. And there we go, babes. We got ourselves a little bit of a glow up. We got the brows going, the lashes a little little bit of a lip tint which I'm quite happy with if I'm being honest and I'll add everything that I used in a link down below including my discount code so if you want to shop those just click on the links below for the brow lamination my discount code is Charmaine.15 and for the Lash Life lashes it is Charmaine5 and I'm putting it down below thank you so much for watching this video please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video bye